Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 5.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a pretty big stem and leaf plot here, and it shows the number of sit-ups a group of students did in PE, going all the way from 9 up to, it looks like 92. So how do I know those numbers real quick? Well, let me show you how to read a stem and leaf plot. Always down here, it's going to give you the key, and 6, and then that line, and that 2 means 62, which means our 6 is going to act as our tens place, and our 2 is going to act as our ones place. So... Let's just put that our stem here is our tens, our leaf is our ones. So this first number is going to be kind of weird, but let me just go ahead and write that. Stem is going to be zero, and leaf is nine. Now, normally we wouldn't write that zero and nine, we would just write the nine, but we need a stem. So we're going to put zero, nine, and then and after that, we've got 1 and then 3, 7, 9. Now, those 3, 7, 9s, those are three separate numbers because each leaf represents a different number. They all have the stem of 1. So it's going to be three of these 1s right here, right? And I've got 13, 17, 19. So you see how that works. I've got three 2s here. And I've got 20, 23, and then 26. And as you can see, we could just kind of go down this row here. And let me see, I've got 30s. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 30s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've got 31, 32, 35, 35, 37. Let me just start a new row up here. I've got four fours. 40, 40, 40, 44, 46, and two 47s. And now I've got 50, 53, two 62s. We've got a 76. Nothing in the 80s, but we still list it because we're not going to jump over it. And then we've got two 90s. There's my 90 and there's my 92. So my smallest number and my biggest number are right there, 9 and 92. Now, the question we have here is an interesting one. What is the difference? So we have to know that means subtract between the number of students who did more than 36. So greater than 36. Now, 36 doesn't show up here. So rather than 36 or more they just picked a number that wasn't there so it's not greater than or equal to it's just greater than 36 and the number of students who did fewer than 25 and once again 25 is actually not on the graph but we're going to just put it there as kind of a dividing line so let's see if we can figure this out so who did more than 36 so 36 would go right here so I've got all of these numbers right here, and I'm going to include that 37. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I've got 12 students that did more than 36. And if I wanted to do that just on the graph itself, I could have done it right here. And I could have counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Less than 25. There's my 25 right there. I'll make that line right there. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if I wanted to do that just on the graph, I could just make that little line. And I could have done this right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So all of that worked to get 12 minus 6. And so 12 minus 6, there we go. The, the difference between those two is going to be G6.